Hey guys, we just got the uh, box of goodies in from East Coast Power Ups for Eli's Power Wheels. So hopefully it's supposed to double the output power and make it a little more easy to drive. So uh, we'll go ahead and see if we can get it installed, see how difficult it is. It's a rainy day to get into this. We've brought the Power Wheels inside. It's not a Power Wheels, it's a John Deere Peg Perigo Gator. It's where the battery normally goes, 12 volts, so it's uh, disconnected and removed as we begin the process. Um, we're going to mount two batteries, 24 volts, underneath, and uh, I've already prepared that, so I'll show you that in a second. Okay, so... We're going to be upgrading this from a 12 volt system to a 24 volt system. So here's the wiring diagram here. Um, I just got the, the fuse hooked up for now. So I'm going to drill a hole in the side so that I can mount this little fuse and then we'll put the batteries in later. I'm not fully sure yet, but I'm thinking I might be able to put the charging port uh, just here where the fuel cap is. Um, so I'm going to I'm going to mount the circuit breaker just next to that. I'm going to take the back tray off of this so that I can get a little more access to maybe where I can put the module and stuff. To get these, uh, to get it off, you just simply put a knife in and, and kind of just jimmy out these, these pins here. And then uh, it comes out pretty easy. And then same deal on the front here, we're just going to wiggle out that red pin and, and it'll come At off. the back off, I'm just going to take this tray off, uh, this little plate here, and uh, it's just got these little clips on the side, so you just kind of jimmy it out. It's uh, it's not too I'm going to, I figured I'm going to go all out and just take the seat off as well so that I can really get um, some good access to in here. This doesn't want to come all the way off unless I take the seat off, so we'll do that next. To get that off, there's just some little... Um, Red screws underneath here, just unscrew them, the seat will come off. There should be four. Yeah, uh, gear selector off so I can really get at the electrical stuff. Just a couple screws here and it should come right, out. So we've got the coverings off now, and you can see that um, just a few wires in here, and they run back to these motors that are in the back there. So I'm thinking I'll probably fit the module um, back in here somewhere where it's out of the way and uh, out of the elements. So I just emailed Wes over at um, East Coast uh, Power Up, and this was the wiring. This was a diagram that came with the unit, and uh, it was a little confusing. I think it's probably more for a power wheels. I've got a Peg Perigo, so I emailed him, and he got back to me within less than a minute and uh, sent me this. So uh, this is a lot more help. And uh, this is what I'll use from now. The thing I was trying to figure out is what's the thermal protector, this thing up here? Well, it turns out that if you follow the wiring and you pull up this little section of floor here, inside is what looks like one of these with the wires coming through it like that, see? So you just pop this open and this little thing here is the thermal protector. So I'm going to hook the orange wire up to it as per the diagram here. So we have the orange wire of the motor hookup going up into uh, the thermal protector. So this can uh, this connector here wasn't really going to play ball with this orange wire, so I just spliced it in like so. And uh, again, a bit bodgy, but hopefully it works. Okay, now the next step is to hook up this part. This is for the pedal, and so kind of trace the wires that I've got um, here, down to here, and so this is part of the kit, red here and the black here, as per the diagram. Then when the wire runs back here and into the back, and it's going to hook into a little uh, harness just here. Okay, pretty easy. First attempt at this, and I'm hoping this works out right. So this 
white wire used to come into here and now it says the red wire has to connect in as well so I've just spliced that in with the white wire it said to disconnect the blue wire which was down here on this terminal this red over here goes to nowhere that used to go to the battery now um, we've got these two that I'd mentioned before that hook back into the, the module okay, so, at the back. And then here's our little potentiometer so we can vary the speed to acceleration from almost instantaneous at one second all the way up to five seconds. So it's more like a normal car. And of course, from 100% back to nothing. So let's set it at 50% now and, and three seconds. And you'll notice there's a, a delay. Just first. clean a few things up back here. Uh, these guys were mounted up here and here and when I went to put the tray back on I realized it wouldn't fit so I've mounted them down there now and it's actually a much better place for them and uh, so now I'll just put it back together and hopefully see the kids riding it okay so we've got it all set up it's set at uh, a five second acceleration and 100 percent 24 volts so away you go bud The great things about this kit is that unlike the original situation where you put your foot on the gas and it just instantaneous full power wheel spin at 12 volts, this allows you to select the uh, power. So, so you'll see here, right now the kids have got it set to a 5 second acceleration at 100%, which means it's going to take 5 seconds to accelerate up. So that'll stop all that wheel spin and give it a much nicer, more, more realistic okay, gun acceleration. It. Okay, this is to show you the one second acceleration to 100%. Alright, where you go. So it was a little bit too fast to have the baby in the back at 100%. So the great thing about this is you just turn it down to 50% and it's back to essentially a 12 volt system. It runs on half the power of 24 volts, so it's nice and comfortable for the little one. But uh, when they just want to tear around by themselves, they can kick her out and crank it up to 100 yeah, and uh, away they go. go so anyway, it's a great little kit, uh, definitely worth the money. Could have uh, had some slightly easier plans to work from, but hopefully this will help anybody out that wants to do it. It's the Easy ESC uh, East Coast Power Ups modification, 12 to 24 volt for the Peg Perigo Gator.